Good morning, it's the 14th of February, it's about 11 o'clock and I'm on Clifton Street and beside the West Link, down there, that's the slip off road heading to the M1 motorway, massive big undertaking the West Link, built about oh, 25 years ago. I'm looking down Clifton Street, a lot of Georgian houses on the left hand side. West Link changed everything about Belfast. You could get through Belfast uh, so easily because of it. Clifton Street surgery and this massive building here is just down below Carlisle Circus and this is the old Methodist church signs tell you where you are if you go up to the left round Carlisle Circus, you're going to Belfast Sioux, the Belfast Castle, Crumlin Road, Jail. And it's a very, very busy road junction. And this is Carlisle Memorial Methodist church. At one time this it was one of the leading Belfast churches, a centre of Methodism. And now it's completely empty. The church actually closed in 1982. Dwindling congregations. This is on the peace line so it wasn't a, a very, um, there's a lot of Ah, oh, there was a lot of ratting going on back then and people moved out of the area. But this section of the church has been taken over. Big lorry on the road. <laughs> By the Indian uh, community, which is good, which is excellent. You know, that it's, it's been put to some purpose. This is an orange hall here. Not too sure. William of Orange up at the top. And it's a shame and disgrace that this church is just lying empty, just going to wreck and ruin. And you know what? It'll either fall down or it'll be burnt down. There'll be a fire. And the, there's, the Methodist Church hasn't got the money. I wouldn't have thought to uh, do the refurb that this church would require, this building. Because it would cost millions. This church building is a, a throwback, is a reminder of Belfast City's architecture legacy. And an awful lot of it has been knocked down, and an awful lot of it was lost in the, in the Second World War blitz. So we're heading up onto the Crumlin Road that way, past Crumlin Road Jail. Uh, the architect for this was W.H. Lynn and he was a contemporary, a, I think he was a protege of Charles Lanyon. A 
am I the only uh, creatures that inhabit this church? Are the pigeons? Very grandiose home for the pigeons. It uh, was designed in Gothic Revival style and it dates from 1875 and I would love to get into it but there's of no chance. Maybe the Indian community people would let me into this side. If I ever called on them, I'm sure they would. Well, this is Carlisle Circus. Very, very busy roundabout. And we're in North Belfast, and uh, here it is talking about Carlisle Circus. There's a strong Victorian character to uh, the buildings that lie in the, within this region. In many respects, they encapsulate Victorian society. Named after James Carlisle, wealthy merchant, he built a Carlisle Memorial Methodist Church. Now closed in memory of a son who died young, this magnificent gift to the community was completed in 1875, and that's, uh, you know, I've said all that. Uh, beside it stands Clifton Street Orange Hall, 1883, that's what I thought it was an orange hall. Made from Newtonard sandstone, it's still operating to an extent, and surmounted by the uh, figure of King William III of Orange. Its designer William Butt also designed West Belfast Hall Shankill Road. And it's talking about the courthouse uh, on up the road. And it was built in 1850 by Lanyon. And it's close to uh, Crumlin Road Jail and the Manor Hospital, built by WJ Fennell in 1900. The flat roofs of its wards were originally laid out as gardens, it's not good. That's very, very advanced for those days. Uh, many fine buildings were built with wealth created from the manufacture of linen in mills such as Brookfield, Edenderry and Yurts, 1850, 1869 and 60. At their height, these and other mills employed thousands of local folk. Belfast was the largest linen producing centre in the world until 1914. I don't know what the, uh, the big statue or sculpture there signifies. It's so sad to see it like this. This could be really something, but there's so many buildings in Belfast are like this. And, you know, there's, a, there's only so many art centres that that the, the city can support, you know, and, and music centres and art centres and galleries, you know. The place is coming down with them. Look at the, look at the doorway in there, you know. Not good. That would remind you of Grey Abbey, you know, the door, doorway down there. Look at that. Absolutely marvellous architecture. There's one, another doorway there. I just love to get in there, but... Carlisle Service um, Methodist church is now on the world monuments list and that's a list to uh, protect sites and buildings of significance around the world and this is certainly one how long can that spar stay up there 
you know, and are in gales and everything else without, uh, you know, uh, refurbishment, and maintenance, constant. But this was this was the orange hall beside it, uh, the the memorial church, and it's uh, it's not in a good state either. I don't even know if it's used anymore. Looks pretty derelict to me. There you go. Noisy motorbike wouldn't have that. Just so many sad buildings around Belfast. With people uh, telling us how important they are and then nothing done about them. So that's my wee jaunt up round. And there's uh, the West End down there at the end. That's my wee jaunt round uh, Carlisle Memorial Methodist Church. And I'm going on down the, uh, the street here, down Clifton Street. And hopefully I'm going to get into that church there, which actually is thriving. And it's, uh, what's it called? It's St. Patrick's Catholic Church, uh, Donegal Street. Well, let's see if I can get in.